What's up everybody, it's your boy Dr. Corey Kern here and I want to show you an awesome way to use Katsu Cycle 2.0 to warm up your arms and your legs and get you ready for any sort of workout you want to do at home. Check this out. Hey guys, so up first what we want to do is we want to take the Katsu Cycle 2.0 we want to take that out of the box and we're going to connect the tubes. So connect the tubes to your Katsu Cycle 2.0 and we're going to start off with doing an upper body cycle for like a warm up for legs, for arms, for back, for whatever sort of workout you want to do at home. This is going to be a great way to warm up your body if you don't have much at all. Got my bands, got my Katsu Cycle 2.0. Let's get this party going. Turn the Katsu Cycle on, hold down the power button a few seconds. Katsu. Pro, we're gonna do pro low because we're in my arms. Here we're we start go. off with just some light jump roping. All right, so I like to think about I'm gonna get in a fight, okay? I wanna fight. I'm losing my microphone here. So I'm just gonna kind of bounce side to side. So if you can't bounce on your ankles, you can just do heel raises. What you're doing is you want to get your second heart pumping, your calves are your second heart. And while you're doing that, you can play around with some upper arm motions. You can go through motions, but you'll notice they kind of bounce side to side. So you can go just vertical. You can shift to one side for a couple, shift to the other side, and then gradually work your way around the ring, get ready to go. So now my arms are getting a little bit of a swell up, a little bit of a workout while my legs are starting to pump. So getting a full body workout, I'm not going anywhere, I'm just bouncing in place. So don't be afraid to play around with those feet, different foot positions. Go hop on one, hop on the other, hop, hop, shake your hands out, make some fists, bouncing around, right? Ain't got time for a jump rope. Alright, so that was the end of cycle one. Cycle two, we're gonna do more of a side to side jump rope motion. Cycle two, upper bands, back to the jump rope. This time, we're gonna go side to side. So you can do double leg landing side to side, but ideally, you wanna land on the inside portion of your foot, and you're pushing off with that big toe. So if you think about a triangle from your big toes up to your pubic bone, that's your base of support, change of direction. So getting used to going side to side in that motion. Ah, time's flying. That was in cycle two. Cycle number three, we're gonna get into a little bit of weight shift and push-ups here, just because I might do some goblet squatting or something that's gonna require me to use my chest. So starting off, just basic weight shift going on your knees again you don't need to do it from your toes you can but the point of this is to load your arms get your shoulders warmed up this is good for shoulder warm-up I like to do a couple push-ups shift back shift forward back Let's see cycle three already down I gotta stay on track here cycle four so now what we're going to do is basic squat with a heel raise, okay? So what I mean a basic squat is more of a hip hinge squat. So a lot of people do their squats differently. But what I like to do, gradually work into it, turn your toes out a little bit, and then you're stretching as you're squatting. So I'm getting to that end range and then sinking in a little bit more. Add a little bit of heel raise at the end. So squat, heel raise, squat, heel raise. And so you'll see, again, I'm working my legs, but my arms are working too. So squat, heel raise. Next one up, we're gonna do some body hinge forms. This one's a little tricky. So stand tall, you're just gonna bend in half, walk out under your arms. You can add in a push up if you want, and then just kind of walk back. Simple as that. So this is basically a closed chain dynamic upper body warm up. Walking out, and again, hamstrings are tight, so it doesn't have to be perfect. 
but just kind of walking out into an inchworm. Okay, so that was the release of that cycle. Where are we at? Walk out inchworms. So now for cycle number six, I really want to get my back and my legs on the same page here. So we're going to do what's called overhead Y squat. So pull your arms back into a Y position and then just squat down. So this is mimicking somewhat of an overhead squat sort of position. So really just trying to pull your shoulder blades back, thumbs up and squatting down. Nice and smooth. Tuck your butt under as you come up, really squeeze your butt. Okay, so we're doing about 10 of all these. That was a Y overhead squat. So we're gonna do the bear crawl and then one more set of clap push-ups. So we should be on, we're on number eight. Okay, good, we skipped one, lost, lost track. So we'll go right to the clapping push-ups. So again, using my chest somehow while I'm doing my legs. So we're gonna do clap. Load into a stretch, fire it up, fire it up. Okay, if your ground's moving on you, don't hurt yourself. Okay, good. So I just felt my arms release. So that was the end of that. Quickly switching gears to the legs.